Bumblebee populations across North America are in a nosedive, dropping as much as 87% in just two decades. In response, people have planted millions of pollinator gardens, brimming with flowers to give worker bees a buffet. Fantastic! But these gardens miss a vital part of the conservation picture. So let's set the scene. After a long winter hibernating, a lone queen emerges on her own and is immediately on a mission to start her colony. To do this, she first has to find a place for her colony to live. She checks pollinator gardens for the bumblebee equivalent of a bed and breakfast and finds nothing. But what exactly is she looking for? Well, people have noticed that bumblebee colonies tend to pop up in old mouse burrows. Makes sense, like a furnished apartment, it's move-in ready, no digging required. Assuming she is searching for a mouse burrow, imagine what that must look like to a flying queen. The entrance is two to three centimeters across, that's the diameter of a quarter, which is then hidden below tall grass or leaf litter. How the heck can she spot a small visually obscured hole in the ground? She might as well be looking for a needle in the haystack. Which begs the question, is she really visually looking for it at all? Stumped, I turned to the actual nest searching behavior of queens themselves and learned they do this very characteristic zigzag flight pattern with the overall forward motion. Bingo, this immediately reminded me of what a fly, albatross, and rat all have in common, their behavioral mechanism for odor tracking. See this graph top left actually depicts how animals repeatedly transect the odor plume, going beyond and returning to its pungent center and resulting in, you guessed it, a zigzag pattern with the overall forward motion. So maybe bumblebee queens follow mouse scent to find burrows. Elated, I couldn't wait to test my prediction. First step, collect mouse pee. Gross, but it would allow me to do a pretty cool test. Using bumblebee boxes, or bird boxes with a smaller entrance, I put mouse pee in them next to unscented controls, functionally presenting queens with a choice between the two. Later, I open them to find 17 colonies in the ones with mouse pee, and only six in the control. That's nearly three times more colonies in mouse pee-laden boxes, proving that mouse pee provides a roadmap for bumblebee queens to find nest sites in spring. With this, we can direct queens to supplemental nesting sites to one day turn a million pollinator gardens into bumblebee bed and breakfasts. Then I will finally exclaim, there is a saving grace to mouse pee. Thank you.